it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Does your craft room ever look like this? I definitely think we can all relate on some level or another because crafting is messy business. So of course I craft and create a lot, but what you see in front of the camera is definitely not reality and likely what is going on behind the camera. But I do want to share some of my secrets with you about how I keep my craft room pretty much organized and create storage using IKEA products. And if you don't have an Ikea nearby you, you can also find similar products that I'm gonna share with you at craft stores and department stores, or even check your house and maybe you have something similar on hand already that you can repurpose and create something that will work just similar to what I'm gonna share with you today. And now that I've shared with you my messy, messy craft room, I'm gonna show you my organized craft room and show you the store solutions that I found have worked best for me. Now I'm going to do my absolute best to pronounce some of these names of the IKEA products. I'll also put a caption here on the screen for you to have, and then I'll also put a list down in the description box that you can use for a reference as well. And before I get into each specific product, I actually thought it'd be a good idea to give you a look around my craft room so you can see how I function within this space. I have three separate sections. The one behind me here is my desk section or my office type space. I also have a countertop and drawer workstation. And then I also have a wall full of cabinets and that is my storage area. So we're gonna start with the desk area that you see behind me and I'll show you the products that I use in this area from Ikea that is really helpful and maybe you can integrate this into your own office or craft room or just whatever type of space that you're using to create it. The first one are these cork rounds. They come in a pack of three and they're only $3.99 each. I believe they're traditionally used for like a hot pad, but you can hack these and use these in different ways too. As you can see, I have put string on mine and some fabric on the front to create a little pocket. So this is a fun way to use it as a memo board or a message board with, with thumbtacks. You can tuck things into that pocket for storage or if you like to draw, that's a great way to add your drawings or your artwork to your reminders, your I need to buy this craft supply reminder list too. So these are really inexpensive and you can use them in so many different ways. Next is my filing unit on the wall. It is called a Cavissel. Uh, it is $17.99. It comes with one, two, three, four, five different slots in there. You can see I have files in there. And if you have small things like stickers, that's a great way to store those. You can store your scrapbook paper in there. You can store your printables in there, even vinyl. If you do the 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11 sheets. Um, if you do a lot of printing, you can store your printer paper in there. So that's a great uh, kind of compact way and also kind of out of the out of the way um, type storage that I absolutely love in my workspace. Now you can see it behind me on my wall next to the window. I have two shelves. Those are called the Melosa. They are $12.99 each and they are clear shelves. I really love the shiplap look on my walls. So I don't necessarily want to cover them up so much. So I liked the clear uh, look that these shelves have. It gives it a really floating nice clean kind of look and as you can see I have some of my recent projects displayed on them it's Valentine's Day so that's where I have my DIY projects on display I would highly recommend that in your craft space you also have a space to store or display some of your creations if they don't necessarily go in your house so a lot of mine go on my coffee bar in my she shed in the house so they don't necessarily get put on display, but if I don't necessarily have a place for them, I do like to put them up on those shelves. So my desk is actually made up of kitchen cabinets. 
that we just got from a hardware store. One has a bunch of drawers in it, one has a drawer on the top and a cabinet in the bottom. And in those top drawers, since they're smaller, I actually have, they are called Stocha. I don't know if that's how you say it, probably not even close, but they are silverware storage trays. They're only $3.99 from Ikea and I love them. I keep all of my little office supplies, my pens, highlighters, staple guns, scissors, uh, paper clips, those kinds of things in those drawers. So that's really inexpensive to keep everything nice and in its place, especially when you're pulling those drawers in and out, they don't go flying everywhere. Now we're gonna move over to my standing work surface. I just like to craft standing up. If I need to sit down and craft, then I do have my desk area I can craft at, but for the most part, I'm usually standing and I, while I craft, mainly because I'm always grabbing things from different areas and I don't have a ton, I don't have like an L-shaped work desk to just kind of like spin a chair and like grab what I need. I still need to like be able to reach up into cabinets, get down and low into drawers, the cabinets behind me. So I'm usually all over the place in my craft room. So that's why I love the standing work surface. Now the work surface itself is an Ikea hack. I have a full tutorial on how we created this. It is a combination of Nordly drawers. So the bare drawers in the middle, those are a set of two. So they're actually two units stacked on top of each other. The same thing with the smaller drawers. There's actually six sets of the smaller drawers throughout the space. We just configured them in a way that made sense for um, how I function within the space. And the bigger drawers are great for my vinyl machines and for my vinyl because those are larger. And then in the smaller drawers, I keep things like ribbon and twine and yarn, my adhesives, um, some of the pom-poms and things that I don't necessarily need, I kind of put towards the bottom. Um, and just everything kind of has its own drawer in place. And then within those drawers, I wanted some kind of system to, just like my desk, have some space to kind of keep things organized instead of everything getting jumbled around. And I feel like this is kind of part of the secret that I'm giving you because I had to do some testing and fitting and figure out what was going to work within these units because they don't necessarily make things at Ikea that fit in there. So what I'm sharing with you is just things I kind of made fit and in the smaller drawers I have two of the Billing Gin uh, drawer organizers. They're actually made for, or they're in their bathroom section. They're really inexpensive. They're only $1.99 each. I did have to trim off the edge of one side to make them sit next to each other in the drawer and kind of overlap in the middle. Um, and they have worked out great. There's a little bit of room in the front, so it even makes its own little compartment in the front. But then there's four extra spaces in those um, plastic bins to where I can keep things away from other things and it also protects the insides of my drawers. So like I said, I have adhesives in there. If something spills, then I don't have like a big mess in my nice drawers. Now in the bigger drawers is where I have some of my vinyl and that I have the very air, very, very era, ver, var, era. Vari era, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, they have, they're more for kitchen drawers. They happen to fit uh, lengthwise uh, in those bigger drawers. They fit my vinyl so they don't go bumping around in there. My bigger sized vinyl anyway. And it's just, I like those in there to kind of keep things apart and not make a big drawer full of stuff. So that's just the suggestion with those. Those are $9.99 each. Now the countertops in here are also from Ikea. They are the Ek Bakken countertops. They are like a marble type but they're laminate and they're actually the same one that I have on this standing unit is the one I have on my desk. And I'll have a full tutorial on how we built this Ikea hack, craft room storage hack. I'll link that up in the iCards and down below so you can go and see how we did this and the cost of it and everything. This is probably the most useful thing that I have in my entire craft room is worth the effort, is worth the money highly suggest it. It's just really, really convenient. Very, very organized. The counters are really great quality for crafting on. I haven't really damaged them. They've cleaned up really well. 
So I would I would highly suggest those, or I, re I recommend those. Now on my actual workstation, you'll see a couple IKEA items. The first one is a wooden box. I like to keep some of the things that I use a lot in there, like my overstock. So my foam paintbrushes, my glue sticks, some of the markers and things that I use not super frequently but i like to have them handy that's one of those things that you could even craft and decoupage and paint so that's one of those things not only is handy but you can also kind of paint it and make it match your craft space and i love that idea and that is called the mope the mope the mopey the mop i'm not sure how to say it but <laughs> it is super handy and it's only $19.99 now hanging out above where I usually do all of my crafting is this hanging rail and they have these plastic buckets on them. This is the most cheap item that is also the most handy. You can see I have my scissors and hammer and some pens and my foam paintbrushes and I also have glue sticks in there. Those are things that I use all the time. So I want them right there where I'm working that I can just grab and go. The cool thing about these are that you can actually pop them right off the rail too so you can take them where you need them. So if I need to work at my desk and I need those pens, I can just take those with me over there and take them right back and they're out of the way. And that's called the Sinersta and it is so inexpensive. It's only $3.99. It comes with a rail and two buckets. For $3.99, I bought two extra buckets. Those were only $0.99 cents each. Now you can see above my countertop, I also have two cabinets. I recently did a uh, thrift flip on those. I'll link that video down in the description box as well too. Uh, so you can go back and watch how we turned old cabinets, basically turned them new again. We also installed shelves in between and on those shelves are a few Ikea items. So the baskets are not only functional, but they're also really, really pretty. They're only $9.99 each and they are called the by Holma. And in one, I have my glue gun, which is one of those things I grab out all the time. The other one has some plastic bowls and plates in it that I use to clean brushes with or pour paint onto that I can rewash and reuse over and over again. But that's a nice way to hide things and it still look nice. Now I get the most questions ever about these glass with cork lid containers that I have some wood beads in and some clothespins in. I get the, I get this question all the time, where are they from? Go figure, they're from Ikea. I love them because they're cute to display things in, but they're also functional so I can grab them off the shelf, dump things out in one of those bowls if I need to or onto my countertop. They're only $4.99. I'm not quite sure what they're called. It just says Ikea 365 plus, but I will make sure to link those down in the description box. And the next shelf up, you'll recognize a clock and also a plant from Ikea because obviously they have some really cute decorative things. I like to have some greenery in my craft room, even though it doesn't get a lot of natural light. Uh, the green plants bring some life in here and just brightens thing up, things up by itself without me having to take care of a plant. So they have really great quality artificial plants. And the clock is definitely uh, something I have to have in here because you can obviously definitely lose track of time as you are crafting. So it kind of keeps me in check to have that clock right there, right above my work surface so I can check in on the time if I need to. And the clock is called a Decade and it's only $5.99. The plant is called a Fedchka. Fedchka? Sounds right to me. Um, and those are only $4.99 and they have all kinds of different ones. I use them all the time in a lot of my staging and photos. On my fireplace, you'll see them even on those clear shelves behind me. Now in the cabinets that are on the wall, one of the cabinets is my dedicated paint cabinet. And of course with paint you can have spills. So I wanted to make sure that I put those paints into containers and Ikea had the perfect ones. And as you can see, they have two different sizes. They are called the Varira. <laughs> That's as good as it's gonna get. The smaller ones are only $2.97 and the medium sized ones are $4.50 each. So that's where I keep my chalk paint, my waxes, my acrylic paint, my sealants, my stencils, anything that kind of has to do 
with um, painting. So even at the top, I have some Ikea metal bins and those have my chalk paint brushes, some more foam paint brushes, some pouncers and those kinds of things. So literally if I need to paint, I go straight to that cabinet to grab what I need. Those metal containers are from the Fintorp collection. They are $6.99 each. Those are something that I've had for a long time. They're metal, so they hold up and they last and last. So I've had those for years and years and years. That's why they went up there because I had them on hand already. Um, they also, you could pair those with a different type of rail that Ikea has and use that for storage too. So that's pretty much everything I use for the standing work surface area. And then the wall that has all the cabinets in it I use mainly over here these big white plastic containers that are very similar to the ones that you saw in the paint cabinet but these are called plugus they are $9.99 each and they are a really good size I also love that they have that little indent on the front so you can just grab pull out, take where you need it. This is where I organize all of my seasonal things, all of my Dollar Tree things, and then some of the things that didn't necessarily fit over in this area, uh, the standing work area, like my wood things, um, that are from like Hobby Lobby and different places that aren't from Ikea. I also have some overstock of vinyl in here. And then you'll see on this shelf, I have this, it's more like a plate rack, but it is uh, wood with spikes on it. It's called the Ost Bit. And it's only $2.99. This would be great, especially if you do a lot of paper crafting. You can see I have scrapbook paper, cardstock, I have some sticker uh, sheets in there. It's just a nice way to kind of lay things out and keep them organized. And you can easily pull them out instead of where if they were stacked on top of each other, you kind of have to pull things and it gets messy. So this way you just kind of see what you need, grab it out, you can put it right back super easy. And I'm sure you've seen these plastic bag holders. This is from the Varira <laughs> uh, line as well. And you can actually use these for vinyl. I've used them for that too. The smaller rolls of colored vinyl, I'll stick them into those holes. And I used to do that because you can grab them and take them over to your work surface use whatever colors of vinyl you need and take them back and put them away. But you can see here, I have used mine for floral storage. A lot of you have asked how I store my floral stems and picks, and this is how I do it. This way you can put groups of them into the different holes, pull it out, all of it if you need to, or just pull out what you need. Everything is kind of stacked vertically instead of just being shoved into a bin or something like that and them getting smushed. This way everything has its place and it's just really, really useful. And those are also only $2.99 each. So you can get several of them and stack them and use them um, or hang them in a closet or something too. Um, or they have stickers on the back so you can stick them to the wall or cabinet. Very, very versatile. So I think I gave you more than 15 IKEA secrets of mine, products that I use to keep my space organized. Make sure to head over and you can watch this big IKEA unit hack video. Let me know down in the comments below if you use IKEA products. Which ones do you use and how do you use them? Maybe you can give me some of your ideas and secrets and I can implement them into my own craft room. You can also come follow me on social media, both Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok for even more inspiration. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next one. Have a very creative day.